Tobias Menzies, Kieran Hines. How's it going? Good, yeah. Around the houses a bit, yeah. What drew both of you to signing on to the project? Um, I would say primarily the script that I read, um, written by David Kaganich and Sue Hugh. Um, the writing was really, really good. And then throw in the story um, that it's based on the history. Um, and it, yeah, instantly seemed like it was going to be a pretty interesting project to be involved in. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's usually it's the script that somebody sends to you to read to see if you're interested in playing or something. And uh, David and Sue uh, have concocted this kind of extraordinary story, uh, um, but also it was the quality of the writing. It was kind of slightly off. It was very interesting. It wasn't just hitting everything on the nail. The, the conversations people were having, the stuff that I didn't know what they were referring to and had to look up, it became very interesting because it was about uh, a profession I didn't know anything about. How much of yourselves do you see in your characters? I mean, by, by its very nature, obviously, it's just, it's you saying the words, so to certainly then it's hard to escape you putting, you're putting quite a bit of yourself into it. Um, but, you know, I'm not a Victorian sailor, and so there's also a certain amount of... Um, well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> you amount did. of imagination going on and um, wondering what, you know, trying to... Uh, Imagine yourself into that situation, so it's always a kind of a bit of a mash up, bit of a, bit of dancing. Yeah, it is, and uh, I, yeah, I guess um, I've made many mistakes in my life. I'm prepared to admit that. Um, so this major mistake that uh, Captain John Franklin makes, uh, I I understand how uh, flawed as we are, we can call the wrong shot, and then all hell lets loose. Fans are really excited to see you sharing the small screen again. How did it feel after being reunited? What do you mean, after he stabbed me to death? Yes. <laughs> a few years back. Um, yeah. we, I forgave him. <laughs> and, you've, you've, and you've, um, you've patched up pretty well. I've patched up pretty well, yeah. There were a lot of holes in me mm. at one stage. But, um, no, I, for me, I was thrilled when I heard Tobias was doing it. I had Jared, who I hadn't met, uh, but knew his work, and the Tobias were going to do it. And then uh, I was offered to play this role, and uh, I didn't have any second thoughts about it. Yeah. So it was very easily to say yes and to go on the adventure with them. Yeah. yeah. No, it was nice to um, reconnect. And, um, yeah, I think one of the great things about this show is there's uh, lots of really good actors in it. And Jared and Paul Reddy and Adam Negatis. Yeah, yeah, Ian youngster. Hart. For Ian God's Hart, sake. for God's sake. How can we forget the mighty Ian Hart? So how difficult was it to move around in the costumes? Obviously, they're very big. Mm. They've got to be obviously true to history. They were very, very heavy. Was it hard to manoeuvre or did that add to the character? Yeah, well, sometimes there were some tight corners, weren't there? Yeah, yeah. There were, coming down, mm. uh, coming down or going work. up those stairwork. Stairwork. Yeah, stairwork. I mean, because it, it's very narrow yeah. and you've got layers and layers. The big thing was, you know, the tassels they the had tassels. On, on, on the stuff. So to get your outer coat over without taking the tassels <laughs> off the undercoat <laughs> and the waistcoat, and how many buttons went mm. bing? There yeah. goes another one. <laughs> yeah, that was a one. Well, yeah. There was somebody came one dessert down. One dessert too many Bing. <laughs> there was a sailor came down with a dog on his shoulder. Yes. At one stage. That's not a easy huge to do. Huge dog going backwards down the stairs with the dog. I always remember getting. There was lots of. There was also a lot of hats and sort of low. Low beams, that's always an interesting combination. So, yeah, yes. but again, some dancing going on. <laughs> Last of all, what are you most excited about the fans seeing when the Terror debuts on the 24th of April? Well, I think, I, I, I mean, I haven't seen any of it yet, but I think I have a feeling that they're going to be in for one hell of a ride, genuinely. Because uh, I think it's, it has a sense that it's been really well made really well made and that the storyline and the writing and the characters will be such a sense of character atmosphere of another place and attention that I think will uh, hold everyone's attention. Mm. Yeah, um, his, yeah, I totally second that. I think um, the world I think is really, really strong. I think it will take an audience to, you know, that unbelievable environment of the, uh, the North Pole um, and give them, I hope, a real sense of what it might have been like to be trapped there.